Hello Aquarius, welcome to your 2019 Equinox reading. I'll be using the deck of the Qatars, the Qataren here in Dutch, and the Qatars with a C and, and also that H and an S at the ending. If you want to know more about the story, it's about the medieval people who had a religion that believed in a shadow world uh, we call today the Matrix. So it's an early day Matrix about the, in the medieval time. That's about all I'm going to say about that. Definitely look up the Qatars. It's a very interesting story, who still applies to today. So let's get into your reading. Let me shuffle a bit. I'm going to draw five cards concerning a problem, two about the negative aspects and two about positive aspects. So I'm going to measure twice, cut once. The problem, the two negative aspects and the two positive aspects let's see what the problem is and we have the knight of swords the knight of swords is about someone who's there to help uh, on who helps the believer or the seeker on his way who is there for advice when needed he is a good um, middleman he represents uh, loyalty and being systematic about things. His appearance might, in this reading, point to a strong, confident friend who helps you on the way, who is practical in his help. This card also points to the will to succeed with perseverance and devotion. You gain the trust of the people around you and you are an active person who is uh, responsible, who knows what his plights are, who has success with a strong will and is determined. So the negative aspects about your determination are the magician, the parfait in this reading, and the eight of shields in the reverse. Let's read about the magician or the parfait within this reading. Uh, this is pointing to a Gemini, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. So the magician, perfection exalts the man or woman above the everyday. So the parfait was a high placed member of the Qatar church. Only within the parfait, the mysteries of the teachings and their beliefs could be passed on by the meanings of baptizing and hand lying on the head yeah on this way there was an on over a transparent transported pureness of knowledge and as those following the tradition they receive it straight from the parfaits the old ord who was of the bogomiles preceded um from the ninth century who were dwelling the earth from the ninth century to become a parfait or a magician one had to denounce all fleshly business and have a pure and in and simple life and never do harm to any other being people had to go to a certain point to meet the parfaits when they arrived at a certain point in their life or their journey so the veils of the world of every day could be revealed. So this points to cunningness, being able, being sure, having willpower, being focused and sharp, having diploma, diplomacy, subtlety, and the mind goes over the matter within this card. So that might be a negative aspect which points to deceit, untruthfulness, manipulation, illusion, decisiveness, and um, exploitation. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's in the negative aspect, so it might be pointing upwards as well, but I'm going to go through all aspects about the Eight of Pentacles, uh, the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Shields is the Eight of Wands, Sure is uh, pointing to a commitment on a solid foundation. 
It's associated with Mercurius or Mercury. The card, the card is, has always had a, a feeling of going back to the country for renewal. Some people think this card has something to do with go, uh, falling in love and it's going good together to take a break and to look at the, the, the direction you're taking in your life, making a re-evaluation in this period, you have the time for someone who is very special in your life. So that might be an aspect you're missing at the point because it's in the negative aspect. It might uh, point to quarrel, housely twisting or uh, quarrels, jealousy, regret, and um, having bad luck. So let's see what the positive aspects are here in this reading for you, Aquarius. You have the death in reverse and the tree of wisdom. So let's go to the tree of wisdom, which is a positive card. It points to the spiritual aspect who goes into deepening the inner self, the inner awareness to be aligned with spiritual powers who support you within the everyday activity. It was, this card is seen as abundance of work. So you might be doing a lot of things, Aquarius. You were good with others and your reputation is getting better by the day. Maybe you notice that you are admired on this way where you achieve things. But uh, there are also a shadow side on this card, but it's not showing within the positive aspect being straight. So it points to power, importance, uh, status, fame and success. And the death card in reverse, let's look at that, what it might point to. So the death is something ending within your life and something new beginning. Oh, um, skipping something here, 13. Sorry for that. So let everything who keep you go, let it go. All the things that keep you from moving ahead. So it is very frightening to come confronted with death in life. It doesn't uh, mean, however, that uh, it's... Uh, claimed that the Qatars uh, worshipped death and longed for it. The Indira or the hangman is often seen as suicide, but in fact it had more to do with the preparation of the soul to the next body that was chosen, or the magician or parfait and his convictions. He had lived to them, make the circle of life, and transcend it to the world of the true God. So you're going to a transformation. It might also point to stagnation when it's in the reverse, but it's in the positive aspect of the reading. So there's coming and ending, there's a renewal, a rebirth, pointing towards the Knight of Swords, who is a very good ally. So there might be someone new or this ally might come up with something new that advances you within your spiritual quest. And you have maybe uh, someone you're leaving behind in this aspect of the Eight of Shields, someone who was really dear to you. So there might be renewal, a new courageous person coming in your life. So yes, that's about it. I hope that helped a bit Aquarius and thanks for watching this reading. See you next time.